All right. So it is very hot in my little office. Uh, summer has come to Virginia. So I was gone last week, uh, back today to do the state pattern and also get back in the swing of things. Let's look up what the state pattern actually is. All right, so the state pattern allows an object to alter its behavior when its internal state changes. The object will appear to change its class. It's fair. Let's see if we can get another one just to see if there's any variance out there. about this. All right, the state pattern, also referred to the state design pattern, is one of the behavioral patterns. It defines a manner for controlling communication among classes or entities. It is used to change the behavior of the object when the object's internal state is changed. This pattern helps to change its state without changing the interface. Blah, blah, blah. This change of the state of the class or object is hidden from the out, outer world with the use of a context, also known as a wrapper object. Okay. It's a lot of chatter. And it's, I mean, at least this is fair. It's, it's actually pretty simple. And that there's a context or a wrapper, but there's an abstraction, and there's the implementation. And presumably, the abstraction um, defines a change of the context. It's not showing here is that there's often also a field or a property backing that change. Um, this is fine. And as a behavioral pattern, you'll start to see that they're all very, very similar. And so this is actually very similar to the strategy pattern in the sense that we want to be able to um, change the strategy at will, which affects the behavior, which affects you know, the object representation. Uh, this is doing very much the same thing. So, why is it different? Well, in a lot of the definitions and things that you read, it's not different. And that's one of the, the issues with, I guess, design patterns is there's a lot of overlap in their use, a lot of interpretation. People run off the reservation when something doesn't suit them. Um, that's, just the, that's just the way it all kind of kind of rolls downhill, I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to implement the state design pattern via Kata so that we can see what that looks like in code and also try to make points where we'd want to use this approach over the strategy pattern because they are so similar. And if we can't find one, um, it just comes down to semantic sugar and use whichever one, one you think is best. But I think, I think we will. So, let's go over to Trellio. And Kata is actually pretty simple. Oops. If I was on the right one. All right, so pretty simple as they all are. Um, let's go ahead and get started with our Git repo. create a new repository called state pattern kata okay go ahead and create that repository grab our link we're going to come into Visual Studio Community 2013. Go to Source Control. And oops, not there. Did you go home first? Oops. Yes. Oops. Sorry. OK. 
Connected Team Projects. So under Connected Team Projects, we want to do a clone. It's going to paste in that URL. And where it's going is fine. Alright, so that's the clone, because there isn't a whole lot there. And let's double click on that. So now that we're we're in the state pattern local repository. And we're under the master branch for solutions. We don't have any. Let's go ahead and make a new one. We're gonna do the console application. State pattern design kind of. And we're doing C sharp. That looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and check, let's go ahead and commit that. So I know my solution explorer. I'll right click and go to commit. And I'll just say again right from our kata. I'll say create or burn git repo. So I'm just gonna do create uh, repo. Commit and sync. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, hang on. Interesting. When it occurred, remote ref to merge was not fetched. Zach says, "Hi, programmer. Hello, back to you, Zach, fellow programmer." GitHub is being a little finicky tonight. Okay. So, we might leave this. We're still going to commit to our local repo every time. Um, and then you'll be able to follow along tonight, probably, since GitHub is giving me some weird pushback. But once I do commit, they should all they should all come in an order, so you will be able to follow along if you want to come back. I've never seen that, and I'm not super sure why it cares. Okay, so maybe it's a network error. Okay, so let's come back over here and we created the Git repo. Next up is to create a simple UI. Again, these first two steps are the same ones for every kata. We're going to do a console.write line. Hello world. Console. Let's do a read key. Let's go ahead and just play this. Run it. Alright, so hello world. So this establishes that we've got a, you know, kind of a, a last known good state. So before doing anything but the simplest of tasks, we know that our environment is up and running. We know we're good to go. Which, as you just saw with the error from GitHub, is not something you can assume, even with some pretty robust, reliable ser services. So this time it looked like it was on them or maybe my network connection, but you you just you'd be surprised how much time can be lost. Okay, so create a simple UI, and done. All right, so the site on a domain aggregate. So if you've watched other videos or um, you're just joining, it's good to remember that we're doing a domain-driven design. That's my preference. Um, it's going to affect the way that I structure the folders and a lot of the code. But I recently came across schema.org. <coughs> So if you're doing katas or you just want to have some ideas for how to model things, um, I found schema.org to be pretty nice. So it takes a thing and gives you a breakdown of what properties it could hold or should hold. Um, and they've got quite a few. 
actions of different types, uh, answers, article, blogs, clips, comments. And so modeling your business object can be half the problem or half the challenge. Um, so just pulling something and I'll skip around. Yeah, sure. Let's do. Let's say you're doing a site that does job postings, right? Um, again, data modeling is a dark art in and of itself. Maybe you need to say a kickstart on what that is all about. So here's some ideas. It's really nice in terms of, I don't know what's supposed to be in this thing and or anything like this before. Give me some. Give me some thoughts. So, I like it. Um, I came here earlier and I thought doing an event would be good because we're doing the state pattern. So I'd make a really simple example. And we're going to be doing very little of what they suggest. Um, let's say we had a social event. They're like, hey, attendees, door time, duration, event date, event status, location, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you had an idea, and you're like, hey, I think I, think I could make a better um, you know, event website or a better whatever, uh, this is a great place to come and get some ideas for how you'd actually model that data. So under Arcata, the sign of the main aggregate, we're going to go with uh, an event some kind. So let's go ahead and do a new folder and call that guy a domain folder. Be super simple. And a new folder. And we're going to say uh, social event. A new folder and we're going to say model. And then add a new class. I'm just going to call it the social event detail. <coughs> All right, so let's just say that every social event is going to have a name as a property, with date time as a start time. At noon time. Pull this back up. Okay, so we got a domain aggregate. We got the thing that we want to use to power our, our state pattern, or be the target of our state pattern. It's going to be a social event, and we're going to decide uh, what state that event is in. Is it upcoming? Has it started? Has it finished? So, three simple states. I'm going to commit that. Um, decide on a domain aggregate. Commit. I will save and sync it. All right, so we're moving along. All right, so the next part of Ricotta is to create an abstraction or a contract for the state. Um, so a contract would just be an interface um, and an abstract or base class is a true abstraction because we'll have things that it, that need any implementing member or implementing classes need to implement, but we also are going to give some base functionality that ensures um, uniform behavior across the board. Okay, so we'll come back over to our code. Not inside a model, but inside a social event folder, we can do a new item. 